I'm not sure what happened, but my screen just went dark. Um, so we were walking in. I don't know if you saw this part right here, but we just talked about the hardy board on the side. We've got bricks going on here. And then as you walk in, we were looking at the purple door. I think that was the last thing that I had seen on my screen. So I'm kind of starting over again. There we go. All right, so we walk in, you've got a, a living room here. These are hardwood, these are real wood, hand scraped wooden floors. And then to our left is our garage. And so like I was saying, is that we've got a couple of cracks here that seem to be kind of big, to be honest with you. Uh, so usually if you can fit a quarter in there, then we would have reason to worry. And so we've got another one here. And yeah, so we've got a little situation here. So this is a separate pour. Your, con your garage is a different pour than your actual foundation. So I think when they did the house, it probably came up to right here and then they tied it in here. So it looks like we've got some movement going on with this foundation in the garage. But let's take a look. <clears throat> now the house itself, living room's a little small, and then we have this little peninsula that comes out. I'm guessing the TV would probably go right here. So we've got hardwood floor, tile, Formica cabinets, dishwasher, and then what they did was, this was the patio, and they did an enclosure on the patio. So, when we have something like this, you know, patios are not designed usually to hold the weight of, you know, a roof and everything, unless it was made like that and they actually just kind of closed it in with walls, but we don't really know what it looked like before. Um, so if you came in here and you started putting a bunch of weight and you started putting, you know, a bunch of, a bunch of stuff on the patio, it could, it could break. Now, the other thing I noticed was that this thing was not, it wasn't locking easy. Like I had to, I had to really mess with it to open it. And so the door doesn't look like it's aligned. So it's like, it's tight right there. And then it kind of opens up. Now we know that the, the, the patio has a slope. That's how patios are poured if they're done the right way. And there's no threshold. It just goes like patio pavers. So I would be afraid water could come in because there's no, you know, all you have is this little brush to keep your water out. They did a good job with these pavers. Huge cedar tree right here. Looks like these roll down or these actually come out. You can see these arms. So I think that this um, little canopy comes out. A storage shed. So you can see how they how they enclose it. I mean, it looks like it was done the right way. You even have gutters here too to divert your water away. And just kind of looking at the slope, it does look like it kind of goes down this way. So water's probably, probably not gonna get in unless you get like rain coming in sideways or like a really severe rain storm. Okay, so then we go back in here. Here's our pantry. It's deep. Get my whole arm in there. Here's our master. Let's 
So I notice that this is a this is a third kind of floor. So you have you've got this floor, this floor, that floor, and then you've got stained concrete. So you've got like four different types of flooring going on in here. And then they didn't install this the right way. If you see the grains going this way, and then for this one particular piece, it's going this way. So, I probably have a few pieces going that way. So that, that doesn't look right. Bathroom, you've got a shower and a tub, tile, double vanity, and you've got this right here, right in the middle of your mirror. It's kind of tight, right? Closet's a little, I mean, it's okay for a single person. It's not very big. Oh, there's people here. Hi. Oh, hey. You scared me. Her. I'm like, somebody took the key and it stopped. It's, it's... That's okay. Oh my God. That's okay. You're okay. Well, we don't have to call We're almost done. Here's your laundry room. HVAC closet. Bedroom number two. Okay. I mean, it, it's it's a cute little house, you know. It's um, it's small. Um, like your hallway here is just like it's kind of tight, like from here to here. And then if you get your garage, if you, I mean, if you've got your doing laundry, you've got this open. It makes it even smaller. Closed. And then your bedroom is just your third number three is right here. But I mean it's clean, you know. Um we got some storage in here, closets, I mean shelves in your closet, you know. So my main concern is that crack in the garage. Because if that's cracking, what is this? What's underneath here? You know, we could probably take a look at some of the tiles to see if there are more cracks. Yeah. yeah, I don't see anything. But, uh, okay, well that's what we've got going on on Wilshire.